Hi everyone, this is Kevin from PeaceGardenSecrets.com and we're in Washington DC and what we're looking at here is the Washington Monument which is a huge obelisk that has Egyptian overtones. Um, obelisks came from Egypt and were taken all over the world to major power centers to the Vatican, to Mecca, to London and New York and here's one in the most powerful nation in the world. So it starts out as an obvious connection, but what's the connection? Here's the entire National Mall in Washington, D.C., and I'm just showing it to you for reference. And the other bit is the Pentagon. So what's the connection between the Pentagon, the Washington Mall, and the Egyptian reference? This takes us to the International Peace Garden, which is on the border between Canada and the United States. It's Manitoba up here. This is North Dakota down here. You um, go into the garden by crossing one of two border crossings. And once you're in the garden, you're in sort of a limbo land, like you are in an international airport after you've passed the gate, kind of outside of the jurisdiction. I'm, I don't wonder who you're in the jurisdiction of. I'm not really sure. So what I wanted to show you about the Washington Mall was just that the Peace Garden is modeled on the Washington Mall. You can see where the World War II memorial is over here and the Lincoln Memorial over there. Notice how this circle matches up quite closely. So what's the link here? So if we take another look at the Washington Mall, this is the Korean War Memorial over here, and I just want to point out how well um, I saw this angle when I was looking at the Washington Mall, the National Wall in Washington, D.C., I should say, and noticed that it really followed that quite closely. Up in the other corner, it tucks right into this wall here. I think it's a wall, anyhow. And it's centered right on the Lincoln Memorial. And you'll notice as these lines cross the road, they do it evenly, radially, radially out from that center point. So, I'll just go to opaque make it less opaque I should say and look at the way that circle matches right up so on the International Peace Garden side of things um, I just want to show how this circle touches these two lines and the circle of trees touches each one of these lines it just fits in perfectly there and notice this building fits in there perfectly and just how these two lines touch there and of course these cross the road in a radial direction evenly because that road matches up with the Washington Mall as we saw before so what is this building? it's the Order of the Eastern Star Chapel and what's their logo? Well, it's an inverted pentagram. So that's quite a coincidence. So now, in the realm of geomancy, it's about when objects on Earth or layouts on Earth point to other things. So given that this star has some relevance being here we can draw a line pointing off 
So that's what we'll do. And I just want you to notice that this line also touches this circle and the circle is nestled right in to the star and this line which goes right to that cross. So I just want to give you a bit of context where this is and it's resting on top of Turtle Mountain um, which is just a little mountain that rises above the prairie that's about 40 kilometers long and notice the the trending of the line the actual trending of Turtle Mountain has some some similarity to it so if we just zoom out a bit you can see where it is right in the center of North America pretty much of course so where does this line go? well it goes out into the Pacific Ocean and winds up in between these two ridges of mountains under sea mountains and above sea islands so I was looking around one day and noticed the, this conspicuous angle and I thought oh I wonder wonder what might fit in there and I played around a bit and when I realized what it was it turns out it's a pentagon so you can see that uh, how closely this matches this trend from Hawaii up and you can notice how closely it matches this trend even so far as going right through the gap of these of the um, in between the Aleutian Islands and the Russian mainland underneath the sort uh, underneath the sea there so I started with the line and then constructed the Pentagon around it so of course what do you get out of that but a pentagram and in the same way that the other pentagram points to this location this pentagram also points to another location over the horizon so I'd like to just show how closely this matches here and it's quite close um, in my second video I show you how exactly how I construct this pentagon pentagram system so I won't get into it here so where does it point well this is where we make the connection to the obelisk the giant obelisk standing in the National Wall Mall in Washington DC because it points to the Great Pyramids I mean to the pyramids of Giza in Egypt so you can see the line going right over the top of the world here all the way back pointing directly at it so I find that pretty remarkable and that was the purpose of this video to show you that connection so I want to thank you for watching and I want to urge you to go to peacegardensecrets.com and uh, have a look at the website. I'm doing a whole series of videos on the International Peace Garden. This is the, the first one of the series. And life is a mystery and the time for consciousness to come through is now. And I just invite you to investigate the truth for yourself and act from that knowledge.